Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the game, which I think we did Blue Baby last... Ugh. Which means we're up for an Eve run. Here's what I'm doing now. I am starting with the card that has my seed numbers written on it literally in the middle of my keyboard so that I have to move it to write down the seed. The seed this time is 0, 2, 1, S, 7... Or Z seven F S, great. And now that that's written down, I can move it off the GD keyboard, man. Holy hell! Okay, hold on one second. I already, I already have. Okay, that guy's off my friends list. Sorry, I just, I've gotten to the point. Like I've been really, really nice about. Uh, I've been really, really nice about being the guy who just basically always says yes to like uh, friend requests and stuff like that. Okay, so two things happened there. One, you can't see it, but I have my Steam overlay up because madness is going on. Two is that a handyman is now working on my lawnmower and came to the door of my office at the exact same time that I was starting, uh, that I was starting my my recording. So, um, I am somebody who tries really, really hard to kind of just say yes to everyone. I have a hard time saying no, uh, but when I have somebody blowing up my Skype or not my Skype, but blowing up my uh, my recordings and being proud of it that that person is out so I've got something that's kinda of going on like that in Hearthstone too is I've got a guy who cannot stop uh, messaging me when I'm recording or messaging me when I'm on a Hearthstone going are you recording and the answer is either yes and you're kind of getting in the middle of it or no in which case I'm playing for fun and I'm not really down to talk to people so um, I am going to pause this here one more time and then we'll get going we'll finally get going Okay, God help me, I think we're actually ready to start this Eve run. I hope I've carved away all the fat and gotten everything in good functioning order again. Uh, so yeah, we got an Eve run. Eve, I don't know, I don't dislike Eve. I don't have any hatred towards Eve, but it is... Well, that's not the worst thing we could pick up in the first room. Uh, Eve is... Yeah, she's just she's just such a limp dick, man, when it comes to like... Okay, this could be actually a good thing or a bad thing, depending on how it shakes down. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, there's there's a trick to this here. There's a trick to this here that I kind of like I don't mind losing health as Eve I certainly don't mind losing health as Eve with rage My problem is I want to be the one who controls whether or not I lose health and I don't want to accidentally take damage here against uh, these mullaboons and Then be like, oh, okay. Well great. I've lost some health. That's awesome But then also lose additional health because I'm still getting my ass kicked by them. So uh, there are a handful of you rat bastard jackals out there who did happen to notice that I may or may not have forgotten the seed on the last video. I think I have a way to pick a winner of that. Uh, if you're new to the channel, whenever I forget the seed like a freaking idiot, uh, I, I punish myself by making sure that denizens reap the benefits. And so, uh, yeah, man, I, I, it, it's become a very expensive tradition here for me, but I, you know, it's a fucking a promise is a promise and I'm a man of my word. So, every time I forget the seed, I buy somebody a gourmet popcorn from momandpopcorn.com uh, who are not necessarily corporate sponsors here. They gave me an affiliate code, you know, big freaking whoop. I can get a an affiliate code to Amazon if I want to and, you know, it's, it's kind of the same difference, but they're nice guys and the product is fun and that's, you know, that, that kind of thing matches up well with, uh, with the cave, I think. It's the right attitude, you know? Gourmet fun popcorn is a cool thing for me to sort of pawn off on people, whereas, like, uh, uh, AAA auto insurance is not something I would do, or, or like, I don't know, um, uh, no, I would totally do Fig Newtons. I was trying to think of something, like, old, and when I thought old, I thought figs, and the only thing that came to mind was, like, Fig Newtons, but Fig Newtons are fucking amazing, and if they came to me and like, we want to corporately sponsor your your stream, I would I would request that they pay me in Fig Newtons. So uh, yeah, you know, like I wouldn't come to you guys and be like, hey, health insurance, or hey, uh, you guys should totally purchase the, a Chevy. Like uh, that sounds great in theory and everything, but popcorn's something that even even though it's kind of a spendy gourmet hookup, it's something that you know, for those who are in the mood and have the money, it's not break the bank. It's just kind of a weird little treat. I don't know if there'll be something that I kind of hang on to forever. Like, if Razor shows up, I'm sorry, Mom and Popcorn, but y'all are just the fuck out of luck. Um, but for right now, it's a, it's a fun little thing that, that we do. So, here's what I'm thinking, and I'm not really sure. I mean, maybe during the process of this video, we'll sort of think our way through this. 
Um, yeah, sure, you know, we don't have a spacebar item, and that's either a way to bomb our way into a secret room, or a way to, um... Or a way for, okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. Like, I didn't want to get down to low health and then assume that everything's gonna be okay, because it's not. It's not. Everything is sadness, and Eve sucks. Oh my god, I hate you so much. Okay, um... Cheesy, crazy. <sighs> hmm. I would love spirit hearts in this situation. Oh, there, okay. This has to work. This has to work. Okay. Yeah? Yeah! Spirit hearts. Roadhouse. Um, so yeah, now we're in the Whore Babylon state with Eve. That's the only character that for Whore Babylon only has to get down to a full heart. Doesn't need to get down to a half heart. I don't know what I'm really hoping for here. I guess I'm op trying to decide whether or not this would be like a crawl space would be in here. Uh, if a crawl space showed up or a black market, I would, I would try to figure out how to get over there without sacrificing our spirit heart. Um, so what I'm thinking is, uh, there, there, there is, uh, something that's of, of sort of personal trivia to me that is omnipresent in any recording where I have face cam. And I don't know that I've ever told anybody, oh wait, why am I doing this? I'm just kind of doing this as an exercise right now to remind myself that I have actually sort of figured out the pattern on this to not take damage. Uh, there's something that's sort of omnipresent in my recordings as a point of personal trivia that I don't think that I've ever really stopped to explain. And I think it's not readily apparent enough that it would be a really simple thing. Um, but what I think is I'm going to, uh, I'm going to allow people to guess on something. And I, I'm going to probably announce it by the time we're done with this video. I just have to think this through a little bit. Um, I'm going to give people a chance to guess. And I think the people who are right will be entered into sort of a drawing. I can't, we keep trying to think of new and interesting ways to give it the popcorn away. So, um... I think with this one we're we're gonna get a little we're gonna get a little cute with it. Oh, this seems good enough. Oh, for one penny, and we messed up poor Babylon. That stinks. I walked over that heart on the way out. Um, so I think what it is is there is you see it in you see it in uh in Winged Wolfie's channel art for the Twitch stream. You see it in the background of all my videos that are you know wide enough for it to be taken in. Uh, it, everyone knows it's there, but I don't know that I've ever told anybody why it's there. There is an 18 that's framed up on the wall uh, in the office behind me, and I assumed that I had told people what it meant. Uh, I had assumed I had told people the the significance of it back there, um, and then I asked my mods. I said, "Mods, has, have I ever told you guys or anyone in any video or any stream why that 18 is on the on the wall back there?" Uh, so I think what I'm going to do is I might tweet a picture of that. See, that placenta is really bad for us. Um, it's not end of the world bad, but it'll regenerate health. And if we're in Horror Babylon State, the last thing we want to do is regenerate health. So um, if, if you can, and we'll say, we'll say in the comment section of this video, uh, if you can tell me why that 18 is, is framed. Oh my god. Ugh. Why that 18 is framed and up on the wall behind me, then I will enter you into the raffle. Uh, to go ahead and get this round of mom and popcorn. Now, the only real trick of it is that you have to be a U.S. citizen. Uh, mom and popcorn do, do not currently do uh, out-of-country shipping, uh, unfortunately. So, it's only open to U.S. citizens. Um, that's really the only the only caveat, man. And, and so, on the comment section of this video, not of any other video, not of the Facebook page, not of Reddit, not of the Twitch stream, that said, if you want to go visit those places, you are more than welcome to only good things can happen from there. Um, but yeah, if you want to go ahead in the comment section of this video and leave your comment as to why you think there is an 18 framed up on the wall behind me, uh, the people who guess correctly, and I won't tell you when you've got it right, uh, and you can you can guess as many times as you want, but the people who guess correctly are going to be entered in a, in a drawing, and I don't know when, but we'll say like a week. In a week, I'll do a drawing, probably on a on a on a live stream. On a like next Saturday's live stream, I'll do a drawing, and we'll decide who gets to walk away with some free popcorn from MomandPopcorn.com. Um, yeah, man, I'm paying out of pocket for this every time that I do it, like an asshole. I'm just like I keep telling people, I'm like, oh, well, I hope that YouTube and Twitch is just a hobby that pays for itself. Well, at this rate, man, fuck off forever. These chocolate chips are just destroying me lately. Um, 
Yeah, man, I, I keep saying, I'm like, oh, I just hope that Twitch and YouTube is a hobby that pays for itself. Well, shit, man, at this rate, if I keep forgetting seeds, I'm gonna have to take out a second job waiting tables or bartending just to afford my own idiocy. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of, you know, if you ever saw the, the, the Jim Carrey movie Liar Liar, he's like, you know, he gets into the, the courtroom scene and starts beating the shit out of himself, and that's kind of how I feel sometimes, where it's like, people are like, Taffy, what are you doing with the popcorn thing? And I'm like, I'm kicking my ass! I'm kicking my own ass. I, that's what I feel like, is I'm kicking my own ass. Uh, I love the black candle. I, I, I cannot express in words how much I love the black candle. It is impossible to quantify my feelings for the black candle. So stinking good. It takes away all curses and it gives you an, uh, a demon heart. Oh my god, my nose itches so bad. It takes away uh, all curses, so we won't have Curse of the Blind, we won't have Curse of the Lost, we won't have Curse of the Moderately Confused or Darkness. Uh, and it gives us an evil heart. Uh, that's just, that's too good for words, man. That's too good for words, because there are just so many situations where if you have Curse of the Unknown and you are looking at an item pedestal and you decide to pick it up, but it's my reflection and you've got Ipecac or, or something like that, it, it, a bad item synergy, then, or it's, it's fucking soy milk and you don't have very many damage upgrades, then all of a sudden you're staring down the barrel of just a wretched, miserable run, um, Plus, you know, Curse of the Moderately Confused can send you into a room where you didn't think there was going to be conflict, and then all of a sudden there's conflict. So, I, I cannot overstate how pleased I am to have, uh, how pleased I am to have the Black Candle in my, in my inventory. So, if you think you know why the 18 is on the wall behind me, go ahead and, uh, and posit a guess. And you can guess as many times as you like, and people who have the right answer, I will enter into a drawing, and we'll do it live on Twitch next week and people who are wrong I still love you but know that in my heart I will recognize and feel the failure uh, and I will judge you accordingly I will I will hold you to a harsh and, and terrible standard um, I'm just fucking with you I'll still love you forever so uh, yeah man Eve run and I, obviously Eve's boss rush like people like Eve like Eve and Lazarus to a certain extent their boss rush is oh, okay I'm gonna leave the fire here because I kind of want these guys to burn in hell forever. Come on, come get me, you cocksucking... Wow, I, I'm sorry, I just... I've gotten... At a... At a place of low damage, these guys drive me batshit crazy. Um... Unicorn Stump. This makes us invincible, but it doesn't do any damage when we, when we run into things. Let's see if we can find a place to utilize it, and maybe on this floor. I'm gonna do this, I just don't want to waste anything right now. Um... Uh, We'll come in here, like if there's a, if there's a blood bank, that would be great. I was kind of hoping for, I was kind of hoping for a, uh, oh, I don't want to give up my spirit heart. Let's go see if we can get a deal with the devil first. If we can get unicorn stump and blend it with something like virus or turdy touch slash E. coli, uh, something that does damage on contact for us, that would be stellar. Uh, but, eh, you know, it, it's not... Nothing's really set in stone right now for being able to use that. Right now, it just gives us the ability to walk around the room and go, Uh-huh. I see what you're doing here. I like what you're doing with the curtains. It's a very nice aesthetic. Um, shit. This fight's gonna last forever. This is the, uh, the Hundred Years War featuring me and Mega Fatty. You can see the, uh, the amount of health that Mega Fatty has is, uh, pretty insane. We just threw Bob's brain, which is a poison bomb, into his gullet hole and uh, barely made a scratch. I, I can't imagine that we won't get a deal with the devil here if we manage to not get hit four times. Uh, we, we, we didn't take any, oh shit on me. Well, you know what, that's fine. We'll take the rage build up. Uh, because we have rage, arcades are actually that much more important because we can get, uh, we can get the IV bag, which is basically a, a means for us to procure money and is also a means for us to, on every floor, increase our damage without necessarily hurting our deal with the devil chances, so... Uh, we're in a weird dynamic. I'll happily take the matchbook, it's an evil upgrade, and it gives us some bombs. Sometimes it gives us live bombs, we managed to dodge that bullet this time. Oh, the ability to fly is so good, but I don't want to be out of health entirely. Let's fuck it. Let's live large. How you live in Biggie Smalls and Mansions and Benz is given ends to my friends and it feels stupendous. Without Red Heart Health, we are indeed flying on a weird and jagged path. We are riding on the razor's fucking edge. Uh, that said, 
We are constantly in the Whore of Babylon state now. I will pick up this spirit heart. And I'll think about whether or not I'm going to come back and pick up that, that bag of pills. The bag of pills could be huge for us. Uh, oh, thank God. I thought this was the room with the, the spread shots. I never know which one it's going to be, and it always freaks me out. Uh, because we have five bombs, I think it's A-OK -okay to blast one in there. I was terrified of giving myself spirit heart damage. It didn't pan out for us as far as the red chest goes, but we still came out a half heart ahead on the room. Our damage upgrade is good. Every time we take damage, we're going to get a little nastier. That's also good. Uh, we just, yeah, if we could find a way to generate health, that would be stupendous. Uh, Gimpy would help. Oh, Jesus, God. Gimpy would help us uh, if, if it would learn how to pay out. Once again, IV bag would be just huge for us. Uh, Dark Bum would be massive. Oh, uh, do we want to roll the dice super hard and buy the pill bag, the, the mom's coin purse? We'll get four pills for for seven cents, and there's no guarantee that any of them are going to be good. We could get four bad pills. We could get four balls of steel pills. We just don't know. And that's nerve-wracking, man, to say the least. To say the least. I'm a little, I'm a little unnerved. You know what? I think, I think what will be worth it for us will be to take this money to the next floor and see if we can spawn in an arcade. Uh, arcades, to my knowledge, spawn on second floors if you have you have a chance to spawn one if you have five cents or more when you come into the level. Um, so that's that's what that's how we're gonna roll. We're gonna roll with that. If we can pick up an arcade, that'd be great. Uh, hopefully, we'll pick up some health, like one red heart along the way, so that we can manage to swing that. Because right now, I can't play with them. I can't use an IV bag or I can't use a blood bank to sa save my life. So uh, let's go see how this mini boss is. It's uh, it's worth it if it's gluttony. I was gonna say, if it's gluttony, then we r run the- Oh, fuck off forever and die. That'll work! <laughs> Urethra! Um, I'm gonna take the one red heart. That solves our health dilemma. I'm gonna leave the rest of the red hearts on- I'm gonna play it big here. I'm gonna take this- I am gonna take the red health, because I'm hoping, against hope, that we get an arcade on the next floor, which will ultimately give us damage right back in the form of rage, plus we'll get some money off the blood bank. Is there anything else we want to do while we're in here? No. I don't want to run the risk of screwing up our arcade chances. Alright, cool. So, yeah, if the character's like Eve, man, your your ability to do boss rush is almost entirely dependent on what items you pick up. I'm not going to be able to take Eve and just by sheer force of will, stuff her into the boss, or the, the boss trap room and then survive. So, you know, fuck me forever. Uh... Poppy, I did not know that you could do it like this. Um, yeah. I'll play Demon Judgment. It's fine. I want the item. Plus, Gimpy's gonna pay out, which is cool. So now we're just looking for red hearts. We Oh, and we've got the regeneration from Placenta. <laughs> Such gross, gross item names and item abilities. If you eat Placenta or Stem Cells, you get the ability to regenerate health. That's so weird. Stem cells, I guess, is just a speed upgrade, or at least it used to be. I don't know if it still is. I could be using all this heart, all these hearts to get, uh, no, this sucks. I could be using all these hearts to get money, which would help me in the shop, and I guess I still could, but whatever the item is that the Demon Judgment pays out with is more than likely going to be better than whatever item it is that I can purchase in the shop. Now, I'm, I, obviously, I could get something really bad like Shovel, and in the shop could be, uh, Mom's Key or Humbling Bundle. There's nothing really I can do about that. Uh, that said, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll the dice and say that that potentially what we're going to get is gonna be better. Well, these red chests in the curse rooms were really paying out gangbusters for us. I will say, in that first deal with the devil room, picking up the ability to fly was huge. I just I you know I, I say this probably every single time, but you know when I hear guys like Bisnap say that they don't think the ability to fly is all that important because you can come across it randomly. I, 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 I don't think I can agree. I don't think I can agree because it stops me from taking damage in certain rooms. And, like, whatever health I sacrifice to pick it up, I save at least that much, if not more, uh, in, the, in, in having the ability to navigate rooms and pick up consumables. Like, how many times over will it pay for itself? And my, my contention is, uh, is it'll, it'll, it'll do it a few. Rage is proving super valuable here in the early goings. We basically, uh, we have in-game rate, or we have in-game damage so long as we are kind of continuously hurting ourselves. I believe it's seven, seven times you can hurt yourself, and, and that will, oh, baby. I want to get with you and take your picture. 
Uh, Pyro is 99 bombs. I don't really feel like I need to explain it beyond that. I will start blowing up mushrooms, hoping for either magic mushroom or good pills. Uh, the regenerative properties of placenta are giving us more red hearts, so there's absolutely no point in not going back and playing this demon judgment, and if we're lucky, we'll actually be able to play the uh, blood bank as well. So, wow, he's not paid out with a freaking thing. Okay, cool. So we get uh, growth hormones, which clearly is a speed and damage upgrade. We are we are fast enough now. Like, I was a little bit concerned about the fact that our speed was uh, underwhelming for a hot minute there. Uh, it is not underwhelming anymore. I'm in the, the market now to trade a, uh, an upgrade for our Bob's Brain. Guppy's head would have been a good one. I would have pretty happily taken that. I feel good enough about our situation to roll the dice on on the pills here. It's one of those one of those things with pills. Like if you're the rich, you can afford to try to get richer, and you can eat the losses. If you know, it's like being a rich entrepreneur. If you're an entrepreneur and you're rich, and you invest in a startup company and you lose a hundred thousand dollars, but you're worth like ten million dollars, then you're not you know you're not going to the poorhouse anytime soon. If you're you know a bartender and you make fifty thousand dollars a year and you sink a hundred thousand dollars into a startup and it fails, then you're hurting in a pretty bad way. Uh, we're rich enough right now that if we take these and they fail, range down's not great. Explosive diarrhea is not awful. Uh, if we took if we took those and they completely failed us, then uh, we could eat the the loss of that and not feel too miserable about how it shook down. Uh, clearly, there's no reason for us to not find the secret rooms and the super super secret rooms here. We need a better space for items because we have batteries laying all over the place right now, and none of them are of any use to us because we have so many bombs. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Goat hoof over Liberty Cap? I don't think so. Not after all the speed upgrades we've gotten. I think at this point now, it, it makes sense to optimize... It makes sense to optimize our, uh, you know, like, once in a blue moon, we're gonna get... The, the, the Liberty Cap gives you the effects of all the mushrooms in the game. Um, so every time you see a mushroom and think to yourself, you know... Oh, okay, so there's the skinny odd mushroom. That gives you an increased fire rate, but decreases your damage. Oh, there's a fat odd mushroom that slows you down, but it increases your damage. Um, there's the magic mushroom, which is an all stats upgrade. It, it picks one of those at random per room and lets you lets you have it, so to speak. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll take Pandora's box over. I mean, there's just no reason not to. I'll take Pandora's box over uh, Bob's head. We, clearly, we we are not in the market for bombs anymore. Uh, I'm gonna back up. I mean, there's just no sense in not backing up, going back to this uh, blood bank and, and getting the rest of the money. If I can. I don't know, if I can donate or get money pulled together for the next shop, if there is a next shop. Uh, there'll be a shop, it's just whether or not we have anything in it of value. Shit. Okay, well we're on the Catacombs Part 2, so I'm gonna go ahead and use Pandora's Box. We're gonna get a range upgrade, which is not all that exciting, but we are gonna take the IV bag with us, because that gives us the ability to proc rage. Um, I don't have any real interest in playing these guys. We're not hurting from a consumable standpoint. Matter of fact, keys is what I would have said I would have wanted there. Um, the hearts are fine. The gimpy payouts that we get from being hurt by this IV bag too are going to start to add up. So uh, we can also keep we can use the the IV bag to keep the regenerative properties of placenta at bay. So we'll never be out of horror Babylon range. So this is nice. We got a lot of money, a lot of damage, uh, all out of playing that blood bank. Plus we got the growth hormones from uh, Demon Judgment as well. So. This is shaping up to be really nice. If I could actually get rid of, at this point, if I get rid of one of these red hearts, I would feel better. I would I would be in the market to downgrade my health by one heart. And I feel like we could probably float that to the rest of the game. I have to remind myself to go to... Oh, for crying out loud. I have to remind myself to go to the dark level. Because as we've seen with the ability to write down seeds, I sometimes forget things. Because I'm old and my brain is riddled with holes left in it by the use of recreational drugs in my college days. That's not true in case my sons are watching in 15 years, 20 years. I didn't do recreational drugs. Drugs are for losers. Um, yeah. We'll just we'll leave it there. Wow, we are... We are Hitting like wow, and we got the uh, we got the skinny odd mushroom effect in this room, so we are just a Gatlin gun of death. I'd especially be in the market to get rid of some of the some of this health now that we're at the HP cap 
Pitagram is a damage upgrade, and it gives us an increased chance of picking up dealing with the devil situations in the future. I am not going to go back and look for the second secret room because that would be stupid time consuming, and I just don't physically have that in me. I have an explosive diarrhea pill that I think we're going to use right here because I, I can't think of another good reason to use it. That's Guppy's head, and that is usually an item I would roll with, but for right now, uh, the IV bag is too good for us on too many levels. So let us uh, sadly leave it behind because every time we do damage to ourselves, our flies get more powerful too. Um, but yeah, 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 this is shaping up to be a silly interesting run. I'm, I'm actually having a really good time with this one. Every time we use that IV bag, man, we get a little more powerful. There we go again. I just, I don't want to get to a place where I forget and just start spamming it. Little Brimstone, especially in that first uh, familiar slot where he's right next to us I can gauge where his shots are gonna be if he's three or four slots behind me he trails so far behind that I never really understand exactly where where he's aiming or where it's gonna go might as well do this oh there is in fact a, uh, a tinted rock here I'm hoping for the small rock happily we'll take a chest uh, oh shit okay <laughs> I'm kind of hoping, as I say, I'm hoping for a free spirit heart so it dissuades me from buying this one. Uh, pay to win, magic fingers is bad. Like, period, end of sentence. Uh, it's not, it's not that it's bad, bad, it's just not good enough to merit taking. I will try my best to remember to use Little Brimstone, but we are so good right now that I don't think Little Sebastian here is going to be something that's going to make or break our run. Uh, we now know that we have... We, we, money equals power would be a, a shop item I would be super excited to pick up. Ability to fly on this room alone is worth it. Like, on this room alone is worth it. There we go. This room I'll usually take at least a heart and a half of damage if I'm not dodging well. If I'm dodging well, I'll probably still take a half heart of damage. I'm in the, the market to replace any of these, any of these blue hearts with uh, black hearts. Oh, uh, shit. I don't- I didn't have to be- I didn't have to be particularly on point there. Wow, these red chests are just fuck awful today. Like, that's fine. The rest of everything that, that is- that we've got going on for us is going really, really well. There's no reason for me not to min-max us to a hundred bucks. Or to 99 cents. Uh, everything else is going, s like, silly well, so I don't want to sit here and, and complain about, like, Oh, the game's not making it, s you know, ridiculously easy for me. But that said, if I have one place where I can hang a complaint right now, it's that the red chests have just been awful. Everything else has been amazing. We are, for an EVE run, if we had, if this had started a little bit earlier, I would feel like boss, I mean, if we had gone and snowballed faster, boss rush would be no problem. We could cakewalk boss rush right now, especially if it's after having accumulated as much uh, damage and, and items, physical items, especially from shops and from deal with the devil rooms as we, as we will have from this uh, particular setup. There's no reason for me not to use bombs here in situations like that. Uh, I don't know if, I don't physically know if we can hit two with one bomb. Like if one's in, if a bomb is inside a chub and it explodes near a second chub, can, it, you know, and a tree falls in the forest and no one's there to hear it. Does that bomb hurt both chubs and does the tree make a sound? That's all I got, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, I had a rough start. I had a, I, I had somebody who wanted the, the first episode to be about them interrupting. I had another somebody who wanted the first episode the first episode of the day to be about them fixing my lawnmower. I'm off to a rough start. I got got to start off by giving away, you know, giving away popcorn, which I enjoy doing. I just, I wish that mom and popcorn would give me a certain number of, like, I wish they would give me a certain number of, like, uh, product codes where they're just like, hey, if you want to do giveaways or be re completely ridiculous and continuously forget your seed, Maybe we could help you out, <laughs> but but they don't. They don't, capitalist swine. <laughs> they set me up for failure by making the popcorn taste delicious, and then I set me up for failure by agreeing to buy it. What a douchebag! I'm gonna blow some of these up, man. What are the odds? Like on the off chance we find, like I I don't know what the oh shit I don't know what the ratio is on black markets and, and crawl spaces. I just know that I feel like there has to be some formula for when they show up and yet we n almost never see them because when do we have Pyro? When do we have Leo that we can go through and really sort of test the waters and see if we can find those things? Like, I had a lost run the other day where I was on the stream and it was a good lost run. It ended up going down in flames, but before it did, it showed promise because we got, um, 
we got a black market, which meant we could take every item there. And none of them were game-breaking items, but it's just like one of those things can really, uh, you know, as the as the dude says, tie the room together. So um, ultimately, I, I would be in the market for one of those, and they're really like they're they're exciting when they happen. And and I don't, I wish I knew if if or why there is any sort of rhythm. Uh, to when they show up. Torn Photo's great. Any tiers upgrades at this point are going to be stupendous. Krampus is going to be a, a formality at this rate. Um, that's fine. We'll show up. We'll fight Krampus. We'll get... I was really kind of hoping for Lump of Coal. I'm not going to take Krampus's head. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Krampus's head used to be a good item. It used to recharge, I think, every three rooms, and now it doesn't anymore. Um, which is unfortunate. This is what? Necropolis 2? Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and start to mount up this damage. There we go. We go ahead and mount up this dip pin. Come on, bud. Let's not do this. Not in front of our friends. You're embarrassing yourself. You're embarrassing me just like you did at your mother's that one time when we were there for Christmas dinner. Your cousin Larry came through. I, I told him, I was like, fuck off, Larry. I don't have time for your bullshit. I don't think he listened. You know, I, I was thinking outside the box when I decided to date Worm. I wanted to see what all the girls in college were talking about when they were like, once you go Worm, you you regret it forever. And I was just like, oh, I can't be that bad. No, it's really that bad. I I, I don't want to call myself a speciest, but you, you, you can basically climb into the sun and burn forever. <laughs> that's just me not wanting to be involved in long, big room fights. Like, anything that I fight that's that big, I want the enemy to always be above ground so that I can always target them. Be in the market for any red hearts I can get my hands on so I can up our damage thanks to the IV bag. We have plenty of keys, so I am going to check this out. Uh, uh, money equals power would be awesome. Uh, otherwise, I, I'm at a place now where money money and the concept of money, at least in the Binding of Isaac, uh, is, is meaningless. I'll go that way when I have to. I do not have to yet. I don't know what the missing poster does. I think it had something to do with the storyline that was supposed to unlock the lost. Um, if you know what the missing poster does or is supposed to do, or if you just have the time to run over to the Isaac Wiki and be like, Hey Taffy, I went and looked this up for you because you're too goddamn lazy for it. But by all means, please do. Let me know down in the comment section below. Hey Taffy, this is what missing poster does. I'm not going to fight the entire boss trap room for a great chest. Not going to happen, not today, my friends. I am looking for powerful items and the end of a run. I'm going to try to record some Hearthstone today. Oh, yeah, Satanic Bible, you're good. I mean, you're really good. I'm a huge fan of your body of work, but I don't, I don't need you right now, friend. That said, I am happy that it's here. Uh, if, if for no other reason, then it's not going to show up in Deal with the Devil Rooms at this point from now on, so... Uh, if we do get more deals with the devil, then we won't have to worry about, uh, we won't have to worry about not taking Satanic Bible and bemoaning our bad luck because, oh, Satanic Bible is such a good item, I can't believe I have to leave it behind. Uh, Sharp Plug is not good for us right now. We can't take the Spirit Heart, I don't know what the pill is, and it's not like we need bombs. So we're just going to donate until it will not let us donate anymore, and then we are going to mosey on our merry way. I'm going to take a slug of rehydrating water here. Mm. Clean, delicious, refreshing tap water. Tap water. Why pay for it in bottles when you can get it from the cow at home? Legal advises us to tell you that tap water is not in fact milk. And that the stream is partially sponsored by the company Tap, which makes all of the United States tap water. It's a subsidiary of Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola finally got into finally got into public utilities. They they own us now. Oh shit, I totally forgot I have a little brimstone. Why am I even mucking around with this? Is that key worth it? I think that key's worth it. All right, cool. And, and we had the speed necessary to pull it off. So whatever was on the other side, oh man, what if it's guppy items? See, shit. Okay. The completionist in me won't let this go. This will not stand, man. This act of aggression will not stand. I need to go through that room. Oh, don't take the tick. It wouldn't be the end of the world, but it would not... I don't think it would be the best thing either. I'm gonna go through this room, not for any other reason than... Oh my god. I was hoping for a curse room. They have not been good to us, but by the law of averages, I assume that uh, that can't always be. And I assume correctly. There's Guppy's Paw, normally something I would take with me. As it stands right now, I like having the red hearts on each floor. 
That's so good. That's so good. We're two-thirds of the way to Guppy. If we pick up Guppy, this is a, a crazy overrun. Let's go fight Mom. Shouldn't take... Oh, okay. Shouldn't take but a couple of minutes. If you take the tick, you can't take it off as a trinket. Uh, it also lowers the health of each enemy boss when you go in. I think it lowers it down by 20% or something like that, so it's not insignificant. But we're not... Oh, shit. I wasn't paying attention. Um, we're not really hurting for damage right now as it stands. I was watching all the... I was watching the health bar, to tell you the honest truth, and then I was watching um, enemies as they came out, too. Take the negative, because we're going to the dark level. Oh, shit. Okay, I just gave up a, ha I gave up a black heart. I guess? I don't know. That was a oh, it's because I took the negative. So now every... Oh! With the negative and the IV bag, every time I walk into a room and I do that damage... Okay, well, shit. Uh, note to self, it's going to do spirit heart damage. Because you have to do entire red hearts. Alright, good to know. <laughs> Alright, so the... Unless I can get another red heart, the, the IV bag has reached the limits of its usefulness. And I won't say that I wish I had Guppy's paw here, because I really don't think it matters. But, uh, there's not a whole lot more I can do with what I've got. So we either need red health... Oh, there's Guppy. So, uh, it doesn't matter what we do from here on out. That's, I mean, let's, let's face it. Let's face facts. We, uh, I'm gonna take these pills. Our flies are gonna come out and do a ridiculous amount of damage. I don't know if brimstone shots, little brimstone shots, rack up flies as well. They could. I'm gonna hold on to the Empress card. Yeah, sure. There's a luck upgrade. That's nice. I, I... I will take Guppy every single day of the week and twice on Sundays. I don't even... I, I care. I care what people think, but not enough to not take Guppy. There's a health upgrade. So, just because we're stuck with the IV bag doesn't mean we're stuck with the IV, IV bag. Plus, now we're on a half heart interval, which means that every time we pop that, uh, we're going to get the the proc from the, the negative, which means we're going to get a Necronomicon room effect. This is awesome. This is, this is a fucking awesome run. Do I even want to go in here? I guess I do. I regret that. I, in retrospect, I mean, if I could go back to the me of 40 seconds ago and say, Hey, dude, you don't want to go in there, and I hope that he listened to me. That's alright. Gimpy is supplying us with a never-ending run of, of spirit hearts. <laughs> this, this video brought to you in part by Gimpy. When you think spirit hearts, think Gimpy. Can't wait to sell out. I, I mean, like... I wish I were kidding with you guys. You were just like, oh, Taffy, you're so funny. I No, I, I just cannot wait to just ram a never-ending stream of useless items pushed on you by corporate America right down your gullet holes. I mean, I'll look you in the eye, too, and be like, listen, this thing's going to break like a week after you get it. So there's that to look forward to. Um, but, you know, know that I put a below-ground pool in my house with the money that came from it. So, I won't even use it on, like, the kids. You guys would be like, oh, well, at least Taffy's kids will go to a nice school. No, I probably not. I mean, public school is so much cheaper. This IV bag combination, now that we have the, the hearts necessary to pull it off, is pretty nice. I'm not gonna lie. Is this a full red heart? It's not. Okay. Well, I'm a little bit too lazy to go back and look at the rest of it. We are absolutely dominating the game at this point, so I don't really see the, like... I don't really see the need of min-maxing money and Necronomicon effects of going into each room when we are going to just throttle, like, like, throat fuck into submission every single room that we, that we approach, so, uh, you know, like, it is what it is. Uh, see, there's two, there's two half hearts, that's convenient. That's, that's there and ready for me to pick up. So, oh shit, that's not what I meant. Slap the wrong, slap the wrong button. Can you see now why a man like me would hit the wrong button or forget a seed? I'm not, I'm not the kind of man who who is intelligent when it comes to taking care of his own his own issues. Oh, this nose itching thing has got to stop. I leave the door and the windows open when it's really nice outside, so I can feel some semblance of attachment to nature. I'm like, oh, it's gorgeous outside. I'm gonna record video games inside, but I'm gonna do it while. Uh, uh, is that worth it? Yeah, you know, and it gives me an excuse to not really have to worry about hitting the <laughs> the IV bag anymore. Like, I just I just won't fuck around with it. Um, this is as close as I get to nature, and like, it messes with my allergies, and is part of what I think gives me the basically the 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 nose 
itching that I have to deal with like every single stream and most recordings. But it's like it's the closest I get to coming out, uh, like to going outside is is recording video games indoors. But I have the windows and the doors open so I can see like nature. Judgment, uh, you dick. That's a dick move, Judgment. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Keys are, I don't want to say they're precious, but they're not, they're not. I don't have so many of them that I can afford to not care. Tammy's head. Cool, I'll take Tammy's head. That's fine. Uh, Ivy Bag, you were, you were super good and useful uh, in the time that we had you. I feel like we barely got to know each other. Tammy's head. Eh, no, no tinted rocks. Tammy's head's going to be super useful on the rooms that I have time to use it. Why, 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 Tappy? Why, why would, why? Why do you, why would you fight this room? For a gray chest, for a pill. Come on, was that a luck upgrade? Is that the best pill you've gotten so far? I just, I don't, the reasoning of your choices sometimes befuddles me. Range down, you fought the room for a range downgrade. Good job, Ryan. I just, just want to shake your hand. Uh, the Liberty Cap did show me that the boss room is down here on the bottom left. So we are heading the right direction. It just, uh... It's taking us a hot minute to get there. We did get a key back from that room, which is nice. Once again, I just, I don't know, holy hell. I don't know if, yeah, it's worth it. No, it's not worth it. I take it back, it wasn't worth it. I'm half looking for tinted rocks at this point. We're, we're, we're trucking right, right along. At this rate, we are literally just walking to the finish line. There's not a snowball chance in hell I lose this run. All right, so Tammy's head missed almost entirely there. I'm looking for anything that'll make my shots bigger. I'm looking for anything that'll increase my, my tier output. I'm always looking for damage upgrades. That was a bunch of damage done to mom in one wackadoo. Wackadoo's a metric measurement for volley of bullets. It's the number of bullets in each volley. Uh, named after General Wackadoo of the, uh, of the Revolt of the Colonies or the American Revolution as they call it. Let's head down so we actually go to the right levels. I'm glad, too. I'm glad that we snowball out of control before we go to the dark level and that we... I mean, I'm, I'm torn about, okay, well, we got guppy items and that's great, but that's also one of the few things you can look forward to maybe picking up when you go down to the dark level is because there are so many red chests, you hope that you can complete guppy there, but man, oh man, like, that's mom's toenail. It's bad. It randomly brings down mom's foot, but I've, I've found that it, it, it's just as likely to hit you as it is to hit enemies, so why pick it up? But yeah, there's not, there's no real guarantee unless we pick up Guppy's tail. There's no real guarantee that we're gonna see. Yeah, there's no real guarantee that we're gonna see good items. I'm not, I'm not fighting that whole room for a gray chest. Not gonna happen. Not gonna do it. Thanks for playing. Maybe next time. We're doing very regular damage now that we don't have the IV bag. But that said, anytime we make a misstep or a mistake, and they're gonna come. Like I'm gonna take damage uh, eventually, just because of my nature. Uh, we'll, we'll start stacking up damage, damage output. What hit me? I don't even know what hit me. Oh, it's probably the, the head. That's fine. I'd prefer not to be fighting many bosses at this point, but since I was never offered the opportunity to purchase a map, I'm just kind of winging it here. I could, I've seen min-maxers do this. What I could do is I could go, oh, okay. I could go back and forth between two rooms until the map aspect of the Liberty Cap appeared. And that's, that's, that's a thing. Oh my god, Cricket's Head is a damage multiplier. That's a thing that people do, and I could do it. I just choose not to, because it takes time, and time is money. Oh no, money equals power. <laughs> uh, this is why, this is why I would love for my tears to shoot faster, is because in situations like that, there is no, there is no accounting for the ability to do damage quickly. I guess I, I, I've got to get used to spamming Tammy's head every time I go inside a room. We're doing crazy damage now. Now, thanks to Cricket's head. Like, that's the, 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 the item chests, or the, the chest, huh. The item pool from which the golden chests draw. This is another one, Mysterious Paper. I have no idea what it does, but I think, uh, once again, anything that I don't understand, I have a tendency to just attribute to, oh, well, that had to have had something to do with the Lost, and I don't need it, because some guy in a basement somewhere just wrote down on a piece of paper, do this to get the lost. And it's like, okay, well, mystery solved. Mischief managed, as it were. I think the guy that was working on my lawnmower is now actually mowing my lawn, which, if that is the case, I mean, you know, don't don't tease me, please me. Just go the whole way. 
I did not even see that I got hit because our tier output was so solid right there that I didn't see that the other guy took a shot at us. Yeah, sure, I'll give up a spirit heart. Like I said, Guppy's tail would be great on the next floor. Well, we'll pick up a spirit heart, which means we get out of here having not lost any health, which is nice, but... I'm really just I'm really just going into those rooms hoping for Guppy's tail so that I can get a guarantee of more chest drops on the next floor. Tears are doing crazy damage. Like I said, the inevitability of damage uh, being done just because I'm mad that I'm bad uh, is eventually going to get us the health or the the damage from the lost health necessary to to run us out the rest of the way. I just don't I don't think I can hemorrhage health fast enough. I'm not even going to get in here and bomb this. I'm just going to shoot it from a distance. I don't think I'm, I'm bad enough to hemorrhage health fast. As fast as we can do damage. I would have to, like, really, like, have an epileptic fit and just start slamming my fucking head into the keyboard. I would I would have to play... I would have to play by, like, by, like, speed bagging the keyboard with my testicles. That was so fast. That was so fast. I mean, seriously? How, how are you going to hold up to that late game? Give me the ability to fight Mega Santa here. Why not? Let's fight Mega Santa. That is a deal with the devil, in which we have the ability to buy the Colossal Neural. It's called Dark Matter. It's a fear shot. Um, it's also a slight damage upgrade. Uh, I call it the Colossal Neural because it looks like an item from FTL. No, not FTL. It looks like an item from Risk of Rain, which is another awesome game. It's another one of those games like, like, like Isaac and like... Uh, Nuclear Throne, that it's just, it, it's ridiculously punishing in later levels and very, very hard unless you get the right set of items, and I adore games like that. I adore games that, that are not, like, I don't think that you should necessarily be guaranteed a win just because you played well. Uh, just because you played mechanically sound on all games. I'll take Holy Water, it's useless, but it's an item, and now we have it. I'm I'm utterly and completely uh, ignoring little brimstone for no other reason than I just I forget that we have it and I don't mentally want to take the time necessary to line up a shot. Uh, I 100% missed 100% <laughs> missed my shot there with uh, with Tammy's head. I will uh, I will utilize little brimstone in situations where I think I can clear out riffraff if if a room is populating with flies or spiders or. Things, things that are going to cause me much trepidation and, and hand-wringing, then I'll, I'll use Little Brimstone to sort of wipe away or swat away the flies. But otherwise, I'm not going to count on it as a, a main damage output. When our tears connecting create flies, it's, it's so much more useful. Alright, let's, uh, let's, let's wrap this thing up. Yeah, if we had, if we had caught, if we had caught speed on this a little bit earlier, uh, we 100% would have been able to take Boss Rush. It just, we just didn't... We didn't catch traction fast enough to really uh, head down there and do what we wanted to do. That is a place where Tammy's head and the flies are stupid useful. Blood rights, mass enemy damage uh, at the cost of health, not useful since we don't have any way of guaranteed replenishing uh, the hearts that we have. Like, Gimpy will pay out when we get hit occasionally, but we don't have a promise that it's going to happen. It's not like we have the Relic or the Miter or Dark Bum paying out spirit hearts all the time. That is a little scary. Excellent. Free spirit heart. Not really sure why I got it. Not going to look a gift horse in the mouth. That is a place where Tammy's head is great because I feel like Tammy's headshots... I want to say they do a little bit more damage than your average tier. And if they do, the flies that spawn for them then do a multiplier of that damage. Either way, it is a, a way to hit once, and then because we have Tammy's head to hit again and generate tears. We have Headless Baby, who normally... Oh, shit, I didn't mean to hit that. Uh, Headless Baby's normally kind of a, a good little pickup, but it's a, it's an unsung hero on this run, because the creep it's creating is not really nearly as important as a lot of the other things we're doing. In a room like this, uh, it, it's, it's a not insignificant amount of damage being taken off of these uh, massive fucking glowworms. Alright, um... Uh, I'm starting to become moderately irritated with how long it's taking to find the boss in this fight. Wow, we are just devastating people now. So, if the dark level was Manhattan, the boss is somewhere near San Diego. Yeah, sure, what the hell. Number one is a massive tiers upgrade, but our range is like... 
basically the length of a flaccid penis away from us. Spider butt is bad. It's a slow with slight damage, but I'm not I'm not really sweating that. I don't think the blue baby is ever going to be far enough away from us that number one is going to make a, da a, a difference, a lick of difference, as it were. Um, he's uh, like, especially once he goes mobile, like he's never going to be so far away that he's not within our reach. Oh, I'm not blue baby. I guess lamb. I don't. I I very clearly do not often come down here. Not for any particular reason other than, you know, like I've said in the past, there's no real reason to once you've got the chests open because you can get items more definitively from the chest and almost always items that help your game. That was fast and embarrassing on behalf of the game. Victory lap! So yeah, man, if you think you know why I have a framed picture of an 18 up on the wall behind me, use the context, context clues, blow up pictures if you guys want. I'll post on Twitter a a relatively high-res photograph of it, uh, but we'll see for now if anybody comes even remotely close to guessing why that's up there. Um, thank you guys for tuning in. Did we lock anything up? No, we didn't. We didn't unleash unleash any items. That's a three-win streak. Next time we have Samson, so we'll kind of see a lot of the same uh, item interactions next time, taking Samson down to the dark level. Uh, we'll, we'll start off with, with, uh, with Bloodlust, with Rage, and every time he gets hit, uh, he'll, he'll get more damage, so we'll need the IV bag once again. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in on behalf of the Miss. Oh my goodness, that was an old school muscle reflex there. Wow. I almost said on behalf of the Mr. Wiffles channel and myself, uh, because that's how long I've been saying this in speech. Um, mercy. Let's rewind. <laughs> On behalf of the denizens of the cave and myself, my name is Taffy. Thank you for tuning in. I will see you next time uh, on the Binding of Isaac Rebirth when we will play as Samson. But until that time, I am out.